Good morning, students. Today, we're gonna to learn about the difference between rotation and revolution. This should be very interesting. Are you ready? Let's get started. Rotation and revolution. Rotation is the spinning of a planet, natural satellite, or other object on its axis. Whoa, wait, how do we know that the Earth rotates? Well, there's several ways, and one of those is star trails. A star trail is a type of photograph that uses long exposure times to capture the apparent motion of stars in the night sky due to Earth's rotation. That's pretty cool. Also, winds. Winds turn due to the Earth's rotation. Did you know that? The movement of a pendulum. A pendulum does not actually move. It is the Earth moving that causes the pendulum to appear to change direction of its swing. That's really awesome. This is a pendulum that is in a museum in Houston, Texas. Whoa, that's really cool. Now let's talk about an axis. An axis is an imaginary line about which an object rotates. You can see Earth's axis in the picture on the right. The Earth is tilted on its axis at a 23 and 5 tenths degree angle. Just a little bit. Rotation is the spinning of the Earth on its axis. We've already said that. I think we've got it. The Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours. The Earth rotates at a speed of 1,660 kilometers per hour, or about 1,000 miles per hour. Whoa, that's faster than I thought. So what causes the day and night? The rotation of the Earth causes day and night. The side of the Earth that is facing the Sun has daylight, and the side of the Earth away from the Sun has night. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to complete one rotation. The ancient Egyptians created one of the first calendars 5,000 years ago. They used the appearance of the star Sirius to track what time of the year it was. By doing this, they found that there are about 365 days in the year. Sirius is the brightest star visible from anywhere on Earth. That is so awesome. I'm going to go look for Sirius in my night sky tonight. Now let's talk about revolution. We've got rotation down, but what does revolution mean? We first have to learn some vocabulary words. The first one is orbit. That is the path an object takes as it revolves around another object. To move around an object on an orbit orbital path is called revolving around that object. As the Earth moves around the sun, a revolution occurs. Oh, okay, I understand revolution. The Earth completes one revolution in 365 and one fourth days, or 8,766 hours. Holy moly, that's a long time. Every second, the Earth's orbital motion carries you about 18 miles through space. Whoa, that's a cool way to think about it. So how long does it take for other planets in our solar system to revolve around the sun? Well, for Mercury, it takes 88 days. Venus, 225 days. The Earth, we know, 365 days. Mars, 687 days. Jupiter, 4,333 days. Saturn, 10,759 days? You would never have a birthday on that planet. Uranus, 30,687 days. And finally, Neptune, 60,190 days. Whoa! Rotation and Revolution of the Moon The Moon rotates on its axis, just like planet Earth, once every 27 and 3 tenths days. The same can be said about revolution. The moon revolves around the sun once every 27.3 days. Hmm, 
That's interesting. So we always see the same side of the moon. The little astronaut there is rotating on the moon's axis. And at the same time, the moon is revolving around the Earth. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness, that makes sense to me now. Cool! Thank you for joining me today as we have talked about rotation and revolution. I learned a lot. I hope you did too. Until next time.